Welcome to Objective 4 in Unit 5 of Accounting 3310. In this objective, we're going to look at the other inventory estimation methods. We've already looked at first in, first out. There's no single most accurate inventory accounting method. Let's look at the other common accounting methods. How do these methods compare with FIFO? Students will be able to compare FIFO inventory flows to last in, first out, FIFO, and weighted average inventory flows. Here's the basic example that we used previously, and we're going to use this same example again as we move into the different inventory methods. Specific identification will get at least a mention here, even though it's rarely used. The cost of specific items sold are transferred from the asset account of inventory to the expense account of cost of goods sold. This method is used when there's an inherent characteristic of inventory items that allows them to be individually identifiable. Think about automobiles that have vehicle identification numbers or machinery that has serial numbers and the production process is simple like wholesaling or retailing. Specific identification appears to be accurate in that it's the most representationally faithful way to exchange in an exchange transaction. However, it actually is relatively easy to manipulate through the choice among homogeneous instances of a product to sell. A company could deliberately pick out the lowest uh, cost item to sell that's identical to the higher cost item that's sitting next to it just in order to earn the higher profit. It's difficult to implement specific identification when there are costs to allocate across different sorts of inventory, such as freight and manufacturing overhead. It also is an inherently perpetual system since the tracking of individual units are required. When specific identification is used, the estimation techniques of FIFO life one weighted average may have been either higher or lower. There are no systematic comparisons as to whether specific identification would result in a higher or lower inventory value. Specific identification itself is arbitrary in its own way because economically equivalent product units may have different underlying costs because of the vagaries of pricing day to day. These cost differences of economically equivalent items then affect cost of goods sold and net income. Specific identification, surprisingly, was found in the 2001 annual report of Amazon.com. In that annual report, they stated, inventories consisting of products available for sale are recorded using the specific identification method and valued at the lower cost or market. By 2004, Amazon.com changed. Effective January 1, 2002, we prospectively changed our inventory costing method from the specific identification method to the first in, first out method of accounting. This change resulted in a cumulative increase in inventory of 0.8 million with the corresponding amount recorded to cumulative effect of a change in accounting principle on the consolidated statements of operations. We received a letter of preferability for this change in inventory costing from our independent auditors. It's hard to believe that Amazon.com tried to maintain a specific identification method inventory system at all given the complexity of their business. The specific identification procedure puts the sum of the costs of specific items into cost of goods sold and takes that cost out of inventory, leaving inventory with the sum of costs of the specific items that actually are on hand. So, for example, in our basic example, we would need additional information. Let's say that the 500 units from beginning inventory, the January 17th purchase and the March 17th purchase, and all 1,000 units from the November 17th purchase are the ones that are sold. If those are the specific ones that are sold, then we have enough information to find cost of goods sold in ending inventory. And here we end up selling 
items from every one of the batches that exist uh, so with a cost of goods sold of 19500 and ending inventory of 10500 Weighted average is the inventory system that most people who know nothing about accounting uh, would think most companies use. The definition is that the cost of items of inventory are transferred to cost of goods sold based on the average price of goods in inventory. Weighted average has the greatest face validity as an inventory value when homogenous products are purchased at different prices. While an average price may not reflect the price at any particular at any actual point in time, it fits the general accounting principle of treating like things alike and different things differently. Weighted average evaluation. Weighted average is not actually accurate because the weighted average numbers don't match any particular exchange transaction. That is, the weighted average price of inventory may not be a price that they ever did purchase merchandise at. Weighted average, however, is difficult to manipulate because any transaction has only a proportionate impact on average prices. Computationally, it's more complex than the other methods because that weighted average price must be computed. It is used more often with periodic systems because of the computational complexity involved. When weighted average is used, the estimation of inventory and cost of goods sold is generally in between the values that one would get for FIFO and LIFO values, avoiding the extremes of either. Weighted average is equivalent to assuming that sales occur equally across all batches of a product that have been purchased so that each batch is split between ending inventory and cost of goods sold. This is very unlikely because it assumes some proportion of beginning inventory is always preserved in ending inventory. The procedure for using weighted average inventory is to gather the total cost of goods available for sale, units sold, and units in remaining in inventory. Then we'll find the average cost as the total cost divided by the total units. Cost of goods sold then is the, that average cost times the units sold, and ending inventory is the average cost times the units in ending inventory. In a periodic system, the weighted average procedure can be done just once a year at the end of the year. If a perpetual system is used, then we're going to need to compute a new average cost uh, every time that there's a change in inventory. Here's our numeric example using our basic example. Uh, the, we have 4,000 units with a total cost of $30,000. The average cost per unit then is $7.50. So cost of goods sold would be the 2,500 items sold times $7.50, and the ending inventory would be the 1,500 still on hand times $7.50. I'm giving this illustration to you of the weighted average example using a perpetual system, although we won't actually be doing the computations at this final level. But as you take a look through the work that I've done here, you see that we're going to have to figure a new average cost after every purchase of additional inventory. So that makes this a much more complex way of estimating inventory. The periodic weighted average. When a periodic system is used, weighted average, with weighted average, then there is one average price per year calculated based on all purchases, even purchases that were only available for sale for a very short time. This method tends to have low processing costs, and it tends to uh, be subject to some manipulation. A perpetual weighted average system, on the other hand, when we've got a perpetual system being used with weighted average, then there's a new average price at the time of every addition to inventory based on goods on hand at that time. 
This tends to have high processing costs, but it is much harder to manipulate if we're calculating a new average with every additional piece of information. We're going to pause here before we talk about LIFO to give you a chance to review the three methods we've already talked about. First in, first out, or FIFO, specific identification, and weighted average. Then, when you're ready, come back and we'll finish up this uh, description of LIFO. Thank you. I only have one more to go after this.